Hey guys, um, I had a bunch of people um, inbox me and just say that they like appreciated the perspective the other day that I gave and that they just wish that, you know, um, uh, more, uh, more people could just be understanding of others. And I'm like, well, you know what? I wasn't always, you know, I just wasn't always. I grew up kind of in um, a, an environment that, you know, you you were taught almost to be critical of what somebody wore or how they talked or I don't know. That was the culture that I grew up in, you know? And so somewhere along the line, I figured out that in order to be happy, um, since I'm living in this world with all kinds of people who are really not a whole lot like me, um, that I had to find things about them. I had to find some kind of commonality. So um, it was quite a while ago. I read a book, and I wish I knew the name of the book, uh, but it was a long time ago. And it had to do with um, just, you know, the exercise of finding something to appreciate, you know, that not everybody that looks at everything the same way, but there's things within that person that you can connect with and appreciate. And, you know, in my career, very much. I have found some of the most beautiful people inside of some packages that maybe just didn't look so beautiful. But because I got to spend time with them kind of one-on-one -on -one while I worked with them, um, I it was like peeling back layers of just this really amazing person who just didn't necessarily broadcast that from the outside or didn't broadcast that through their attitude. So I really connected with that concept. And to this day, it's like automatic. I just automatically look for what's the thing about that person that I can like or connect with or appreciate. So here's a challenge for you if you want to take it. Um, and, and one time today would not be enough. Three times would be good. Five times would be great. Just... Look, when you, when you recognize that there's something, it could be an existing relationship in your life that's a little challenged, whether it's a coworker or a family member or even a friend. You know, sometimes we move through life and our friends don't necessarily keep up with our path. They are on a different path and sometimes that causes a little bit of friction and, and that's okay. We just don't want to focus on the friction. If we can just focus on something that we can appreciate about whatever's happening then, it just seems like all the friction just kind of dissolves. So I would just say to you, when you find yourself in a situation like that or with a person like that today, Look for what can I appreciate? Like you could have a coworker and she's really bossy and she's not even your boss, but she just has an attitude of, you know, taking charge even, I mean, even when it's not her, her position to do that, you know, but you know what, maybe she's wearing a great pair of shoes today. And you could just appreciate that you really like her shoes or you really like her purse or whatever it is. You know, I, I like his smile. You know, I like his conviction. Maybe there's somebody posting something that, you know, feels like a rant to you because you're just not on that. That's, that's not a common viewpoint. But you know what? You can appreciate that that person arrived at that conviction from some things that you haven't gone through. I don't know what those things are, but, you know, just find something. Wow, they're passionate. Wow, they're well-spoken. You know, wow, you know, they're, they're seeking to make a difference. You know, whatever that is, just find at least one. One is okay. One is better than none. Three is really good. And five, if you can do that five times today, on tomorrow and the next day, you will have a new habit and your life will become much happier and you will find that you can really get along with any number of people and maybe even adjust your viewpoint and maybe they'll adjust their somewhat just from the interaction because you just appreciate each other and you appreciate that your journeys are not the same and that you probably cross paths and there's something that you have that you can learn from that person.